so so rahul before you before you ask me a question you know there is a description called post intensive care syndrome uh, or this uh, icu aw that is icu acquired weakness yeah. uh, so what is all this is this really a myth or a reality and uh, is, is this something which you see every day so it is a reality there is no doubt about that so there is there are two things two aspects of that one is uh, we just called as an icu related confusion and the other is the icu related uh, syndrome which is usually a part of uh, critical illness neuromyopathy so the icu related confusion is essentially because those patients who have been in intensive care for a long time uh, receive a lot of uh, sedatives their sleep wake cycle gets disturbed and because they are not exposed to natural sunlight they are in a closed environment all the time see same people all the time they lose the track of time completely and many of them just become confused with the time and space and uh, they take a long time for these drugs to be metabolized out of their body complicating further by drugs like steroids which are known to cause a bit of psychosis and steroids being the mainstay of therapy for these patients they often land up with a lot of psychological disturbances which are then termed as icu related psychosis and all of that settles the moment you take these patients out of icu in a couple of days time they become lucid when they start seeing their family member talking to them just a video call doesn't help usually what i have realized is that you need to have family member there they need they need to touch them they need to talk to them they need to talk to them in their own language and it sort of breaks the barrier quite nicely the other thing which you asked me was the icu related weakness syndrome now unfortunately the corona virus is affecting our lungs the most and when we are uh, putting these patients on a ventilator because they need to be put on a ventilator to to save their life we are also sedating them with uh, sedatives and often quite often muscle relaxants to help the ventilation be better and uh, sort of synchronize with the patient's breathing a subset of them would require long term sedation and ventilation along with of course steroids and some of them may develop a secondary infection requiring drugs like colistin amikacin and so on and so forth for antibiotics all of these actually cause a syndrome called as a critical illness neuromyopathy neuro means at the muscle endings it works and myopathy means it makes the muscles weak and that leads to these patients having profound weakness physical weakness inability to move or lift their arms at times or if they are lifting their arms and legs they are not able to do it with good strength and it takes a long time for them to start walking and to start eating their own food and do day to day activity even after recovery and that's where the post icu syndrome uh, comes in it is also then associated with your swallowing muscles being weak because obviously if your hand and if your skeletal muscles are weak your bulbar muscles which are a sort of a autonomic process in your body they also remain weak so they keep on having tube feeding which then leads to again uh, nutritional problems and then sort of has a catch 22 situation that until they come out of the nutritional issue they are not able to recover completely and and so this sort of prolongs a little bit more so that's about these two syndromes sir 